My personal opinion is always having more can be better. I've always been someone who considers themselves a power user, occupying multiple screens at any given time. At home, I do have a 49 inch ultra wide monitor. Eventually, I would like to pick up a 57 inch Samsung ultra wide. On the go, I have my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Sometimes I want something extra, something a bit more portable, which will give me two extra screens. A company reached out to me and told me they could solve my dilemma. And and this is by far the one thing I have been missing from my life. Hello and welcome back. It's V. Let's get started. <sighs> Just an announcement, my second short channel, I rebranded that to a different purpose called Bite Size V. It is a work in progress, going to make that channel more so just bite size clips of my long videos for other reviews, not just for Apple products. If anybody wants to check it out, I will link that down below. Disclaimer, I was sent this product to review, but no one gets to see this before it drops on YouTube. This is my own opinion. I was not paid to review this. This is the OWAC 16 inch triple portable monitor sub. This can be picked up off Amazon for around $800. They also do sell a 14 inch version for $500 and a 15 inch version for $700. I prefer the 16 inch version because I like having all the extra real estate. Does the setup justify the lucrative price tag or are there better alternatives out there? This is made from aluminum. Some of the other triple monitor subs I've reviewed were made from plastic so this does have more of a premium design. The resolution of these panels are bumped up to 1920 by 1200 compared to the other panels which are only 1080p so these panels have a slightly higher resolution it has a 1500 to 1 contrast ratio it gets up to 400 nits of peak brightness it has 100 percent color accuracy of the adobe srgb colors so the colors here are a little bit more accurate it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio it's got a 92 percent screen to body ratio so the bezels are fairly small it has a 60 hertz refresh so it's it's not really ideal for gaming. It also has a five millisecond response time. This thing blows every other triple monitor setup out of the water with better screens and a slimmer profile. Getting to the unboxing, once opened up, you are greeted with the triple monitor setup. It has a leather magnetic case. It's pretty portable and thin compared to some of the other ones I have reviewed in the past. The instructions are inside the box. The insulation and help guide, you are given two micro HDMI to full size HDMI adapter adapters, two USB type A to type C cables, two USB C to type C cables. They give you about every type of cable needed for about any computer. Depending on the type of device being used, you might have to mix and match the cables. With my MacBook Pro, I just need the type C to type C cables. Using this triple monitor setup, it looks and feels as if it should be made from Apple. This is the top end version of this product category. Some of the more budget setups use plastic. The material here is aluminum. The build quality is that good. The panels here are better overall. You assume you pay a premium price and the carrying case would offer complete protection. While traveling with this, I'm looking for a case to protect the whole thing, especially with the sides being exposed. Dirt and debris could get into the screen and scratch it while traveling. I do like the idea of this magnetic cover, but I do wish there were flaps to cover the sides. This setup is very nice overall. It's very low profile and it has two handles to carry it around. This has some weight behind it. It weighs about 1900 grams, so it's fairly heavy, especially using this on a laptop. When closed, it's only 31 millimeters thick. Each individual panel is only eight millimeters thick. It has a lower profile compared to the budget ones. It's thinner, so it makes it easier to toss it into my bag and take off because it takes up less space. On top, you have the on and off switch with a menu rocker. On the sides are the micro HDMI and the two USB-C ports to open this up. Grab both handles and pull it apart. It reveals a kickstand, which can be stretched out to accommodate a laptop up to 17 inches. Even using a 14 inch laptop will work, but it might look a little bit off. The kickstand is pretty sturdy. Moving it up and down is a little bit stiff, especially with two 16 inch screens and the weight behind this. It's more ideal to put the weight not on the laptop's hinge, but on the kickstand. On the backside, there are a bunch of rubber pads everywhere to prevent scratching, constantly removing and putting both of these back together. There will be a lot of chafing and grinding. The more rubber pads they have, it helps prevent scratches. There are two small switches which will rest on top of any laptop screen. It helps keep everything
everything more connected and unified, always make sure the switches are closed because breaking my setup down, they might potentially puncture the screens. It's one of those small things you never notice, but it does happen. There are rails on each side to keep the laptop screen a bit more aligned and seamless. I initially wanted this for my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It fits it quite well. It's pretty seamless and everything looks pretty flush. This comes in three sizes, 14, 15 and 16 inch, a variety of different sizes for laptop screens. These two screens blend well together with my MacBook Pro. Just having two extra screens adds so much versatility to my mobile setup. It's pretty much perfect for power users. The main thing with the setup is that you really need to rely on the kickstand to offset the weight. Having a couple pounds on any laptop's hinge is not good long term. So it's always best to really rely on the kickstand. Fully extended out, their screens open up to 180 degrees. I use the handles on the backside to help keep the screens angled properly with the inputs. I just have to use the USB-C cables for everything. Some laptops might require USB type A or HDMI. Your mileage might vary. Booting up both screens only takes a few seconds. Each screen's native resolution is 1920 by 1080p, 60 hertz. The refresh is pretty standard. It's not really the best for gaming. Both screens can be bumped up to 1920 by 1200. It will look a little bit better, a little bit more crisp. The first triple monitor setup I reviewed, they were both 1080p, but the panels here look so much better. The viewing angles are good and the screens do not look washed out. They don't look as good as a screen from my MacBook Pro, but they will get the job done. Both screens get up to 400 nits of brightness. It's not ideal for direct sunlight, but it will work with powering two 1080p screens at the same time. The battery life for my MacBook Pro will take a massive hit. These screens will offer pass-through charging with USB Type-C. It can do up to 100 watts of pass-through charging, which is good enough to keep my laptop topped up. There are two buttons on the top, one to turn it off and on, and the other is for settings. The settings here are pretty basic. You have brightness, contrast, HDR. With the HDR turned on, it looks a little oversaturated, so I tend to keep it off. There are no internal speakers with the setup, so everything comes from my laptop. With this setup, it works perfectly for what I needed to do. It's low profile. It does not take up too much space on any desk surface. Plus, it gives me two extra screens. The colors don't really stand out or look as good compared to my MacBook Pro screen. That's to be expected. Apple makes some very good laptop screens and very few can compare to this. Compared to my old budget setup, the blacks and grays were both a bit washed out. They were kind of grayish. Here, everything looks normal. I've tested out several other triple monitor setups or portable screens, and these are the best I've used so far. This is the Rolls Royce of triple monitor setups for those who want the best of the best with this being a plug and play solution. These monitors will work with about any device out there. My personal tastes have changed throughout the years. I've used single, double, triple monitor setups ranging from 27 up to 32 inches. I eventually settled a 49 inch monitor is perfect for audio editing and video with like really, really long timelines or just having multiple windows I can pull information from. Same thing can apply here with multiple screens. If I do any color accurate projects. I stick to my main screen for practical purposes. I have research windows on the sides. For an example, for my general workflow, using extra screens, I want to make a flyer with my MacBook Pro. On the right hand side will be my research window for pulling photos or text from websites. The left side will have Photoshop for lighting and coloring. The screens have 100% of the Adobe sRGB, so overall they work well for color correction, but I will always use my main screen for the final check. The main screen will have Adobe Illustrator to put everything together. I have enough space where I can put everything together. I don't need to have multiple windows overlaying everything, and I don't have to swap between different screens with my laptop. With general multitasking, this excels well for the power users. Having multiple applications open at the same time, it really is that good. Three fingers swiping across will give me multiple windows for each one. On average, I have about three screens with three separate apps open for each one. So it gives me a total of nine screens all together with open applications without having anything overlaid with nine separate open applications at the same time. That works so well. Even with video editing, it makes it more seamless than just having one window. Using Premiere Pro on my main screen, Adobe Audition on the right hand side, and Google Docs on the left side for scripting. Without this, I would need to scroll between three separate windows. It makes my overall workflow faster 
faster, easier, and simpler. With this triple monitor setup, it's a simple plug and play solution. Each screen can be connected to separate devices. It's not limited to computers. Two game consoles can be hooked up if kids wanted to play an Xbox or PlayStation. The screens are limited to 60 hertz. It's not the most ideal for gaming, but it will work. A Nintendo Switch will work, or a Steam Deck, or the Legion Go. Any retro handheld consoles will work. As long as the device offers video out, it should work. Windows, iPads, MacBooks, Android tablets, DVD players, VHS players, Samsung decks, just to name a few. Linux might be hit or miss. Even using both my iPads will work from my Mini 6 to my 12.9 inch. I don't need to use dongles or adapters as long as it has the USB Type-C. It should work. With the ease of use of this product, it enhances the overall experience and it just makes it better. Using separate devices or computers will work with each screen. So this will work with about any device really. Generally, most triple monitor setups can offer this, but this one seems to work the best. I've always been using Apple products, but some people might want to use this with a Windows computer. Both systems are good in their own way, but I prefer the fruit. Chromebooks might work with this, but it could be hit or miss. This is a budget Asus Zenbook. It's a standard Ultrabook with an Intel processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It's very entry level. It has enough horsepower to get me by, powering all three screens with multiple applications, but it is only 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it does get a free pass here. I just wanted to showcase using this with Windows because Windows tends to work the best with multiple different Windows with different form factors. This laptop can use both of my USB-C ports just for video, same as my MacBook Pro, but some might require HDMI or USB Type-A. This triple monitor setup works well with Windows. I have no issues here. Just for anyone out there who is looking for a triple monitor setup, I do recommend at least 16 gigabytes of RAM just to get by. That's a minimum you need going into 2024. Using this triple monitor setup hands down has been amazing, but it isn't for everyone. It's not quite as bulky as some of the other ones, but you're also spending upwards to $800 on this. The build quality is amazing. It's made from aluminum. It's lighter and thinner than some of the other ones, but it still is pricey. The single point that they could fix would be the cover. I'm spending a decent amount of money on this. I would like to have a cover that protects the whole thing, especially the sides. With the sides being exposed for dirt and debris, it could really scratch up the screen. I really need to find something else to protect the screens. That's the only real issue I have with this product is the case or the cover. Besides that, this product is very good. The screens are really, really useful for my workflow. It's not overly complicated. It's easy to use and fairly simple. Even non-tech people can use this just fine. It's a simple plug and play solution for any laptop. It will also work with about any device out there. It offers a portable workflow while I'm on the road, similar to my home office. Having three screens for multiple applications from Adobe makes my workflow so much faster. Granted, it is a bit more expensive compared to more of the budget ones. The panels are higher resolution. They look better. They have better viewing angles. The colors pop up more. Plus, the bezels are much thinner. This is the Rolls Royce of triple monitor setups, and it shows. If you're looking for the best triple monitor setup for either 14, 15, or 16-inch screens, this is the one to get. So like always, it's V. Stay classy.